What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John the Liquidator, coming back with another video. And it looked like the Connecticut Sun has officially found Stephanie White replacement. And it don't look like it's a good one. For this one here, we got to go to Connecticut. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> This is definitely one of those situations I can almost guarantee you the Connecticut Sun was not expecting Stephanie White to lead their organization after hiring the person they just hired. To me, this looked like this was a rush hire. This looked like we got to get somebody in here because uh, we got the expansion draft coming up and uh, we don't have a coach. And it's looking real spooky because the schedule is out and we still don't have a coach. But with all that being said, man, they has officially found her replacement. Now, it was no secret when Christy Sides got the boot that Stephanie White was going to be highly considered to come back to Indiana after her relationship with Kelly Cristobal and the Indiana Fever organization. She's like royalty in Indy. Stephanie White... There was no doubt that she was going to come in and help develop and get Caitlin Clark to that next level of the W. Now, I'm here to tell you, people in Connecticut was not happy about it. The reporters weren't happy about it. The fans weren't happy about it. And it looked like the organization was not expecting it at all. Now, they took to X earlier today to let it be known. They has hired a new coach. Let's pull it up right now because I'm telling you, this is fun. Nee. He actually posted this on the Connecticut Sun uh, X account. They posted this on the Connecticut Sun PR account. And they stated, press release, named Connecticut Sun, head coach Rashad Minnison. I don't know, guys. I'm going to just say uh, Rashad him. And uh, I'm here to tell you, uh, the fans was not happy about all this. Now, this post have had 300,000 views, 179 retweets. And, uh, yeah, somebody said, are there any women coaches in the league for women players? Damn, shaking my head. Another man to coach women. I guess they are, they are saying women just ain't good enough. How do women feel about this? Somebody said, who? Somebody said, does he even speak English? Now. He is from overseas, and uh, yeah, man, this is just not a good look for them. To me, like I stated before, this looked like a rush hire. This looked like they had to get somebody in there quick, fast, and then a Harry. And uh, yeah, he was the guy who ultimately they chose, you know, to come in and be their guy. Now, as y'all can see by some of these comments. Fans is not happy about this. Now, he did speak, man. He did speak in a video that was released today. And, uh, yeah, let me scroll up. Kitson. I come from France. I am currently the head coach of uh, Wiener Dask, uh, Norwegian French team. Uh, also, the head coach of the Belgium national team. I was, uh, during many years, the French national team uh, assistant coach. I'm very excited to join the best league in the world. Become a WNBA coach means a dream come true. I just can't wait to build a championship and meet our fans. I chose the Connecticut Sun because I really think that we share the same values like hard work, passion, humility, and ambition. I am excited to express my gratitude for the opportunity to join the Connecticut Sun family as a head coach. I would like to thank the Morgan Sun president, Mr. Hamilton, Jennifer as a Connecticut Sun president, Morgan as a GM and Darius. Thank you for placing your trust on me and recognizing my potential. So that was their head coach uh, in a video. Let me see what these comments looking like down here, man. <laughs> um, I could I should laugh, man, but my God, dude, like somebody said most of the comments here are weird. He's a good coach. Somebody said, does he speak English again? Somebody said, welcome, Coach. Let's get started. So everybody isn't mad. Somebody said he knows FIBA rules. Will he remember WNBA rules when the game gets close and he has to react on instincts? I'm sure the rules are a little different like NBA versus FIBA. 
goaltending, for example, that is very interesting that they said that about the rules. Somebody said if Mrs. don't protect Van Lowe and she doesn't get picked up, LaFrance time to get LaChan into camp. Welcome, Coach. So everybody isn't mad about it, man. And, um, yeah, this is one that's very interesting. A lot of fans is not happy about this. And this report's coming out all over their page. You know, they're retweeting and releasing stuff. And let it be known, man, that this is their new head coach. He will be the replacement for Stephanie White. And uh, just like I told y'all, man, um, them doing this is definitely a telltale sign to me that they did not have anybody in mind that they wanted to hire to replace Stephanie White. And they was not expecting Stephanie White to leave. That's what I believe. And as we get closer to the start of the season, like I stated, schedule's coming out. The expansion draft is this week. Um, you got to get you a coach. Like, you got to get somebody in there to get the ball rolling for the 2025 season. And to me, this is a rush hire. Hopefully it works out for the Connecticut Sun. I'm wishing them nothing but the best. I want to see every team in some way, shape, form, or fashion succeed, but not nearly as good as the fever. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep it real. But uh, it's just an interesting topic because there's many other qualified head coaches just right here in our home country that I feel as if they could have got um, to replace Stephanie White. They wanted to go overseas and go that route. Um, this is very touchy, touchy, you know, in that aspect. And, uh, yeah, man, it's just crazy to me, man. It's just real crazy. It's just a weird little situation. I'm going to just leave it as that, man, because I'm, I am I kind of want to say more, you know, especially to get a job. But you make videos about our sports every day. Like, how could you call the kettle black, you know, as a YouTuber? But you in a whole other country making videos about our sport. But you criticizing him coming from France to work in our country. When you kind of doing it, it's weird, man. But y'all know who I'm talking about. But definitely, uh, I don't know, man. Get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep the bills on because you know I'm going to bring you the news. And until next time, man, shake the headers off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Shake.